My name is Howard Blank. I was just an average Joe until I was shot in the head. The bullet lodged in my brain, inflicting me with amnesia. Now I'm a detective for Global Police Incorporated, a top secret agency dedicated to protecting the world from evil. Together with my partner, Johnny Taco, I'm looking for a missing person. The man I once was. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. I am Lucien Noir, head purveyor and curator of ancient Egyptian artifacts. On behalf of the Louvre, the Grizzly Foundation, and several of your more generous donations, I wish to present a historical find from mythical ancient Egypt, the tomb of the lost pharaoh Smenkare. Inside the tomb, we found half a dozen mummified corpses, and perhaps proof that Smenkare may have been a woman known by another name, Nefertiti. Of course, that gets into many archaeological arguments we shall not discuss now. <laughs> but please, feel free to wander around our exhibit. We have tried to recreate the atmosphere of the tomb. Let us only hope that we shall not receive the curse of Smenkare's mummy. Johnny, as far as I'm concerned, the only good mummy is a dead mummy. Mummies are dead, Mr. Blake. That's literally the point of a mummy. That's where you're wrong, Johnny. It was part of a newsreel I saw. A mummy came back to life and spread a curse on the people who dug him up. Makes me sick just thinking about it. That newsreel wasn't The Mummy starring Boris Karloff, was it? It could have been a documentary. Documentaries aren't on a double bill with Creature from the Black Lagoon. Gentlemen, may I help you? Lucien Noir, a moment of your time, please. But, of course. We're from GPI, Global Police Incorporated. Is it part of GPI's policies to employ such deformed individuals? I'm a dinosaur, sir. My apologies. I've never been in the presence of a... <sighs> Tacosaurus. Our species was discovered by a 12-year-old. You don't mind if I ask a few questions? It is not every day a man meets a dinosaur. Sure. Do you have feathers? No more questions. We're here to inform you that this exhibit is built on the bones of dead men. Yes, it's a tomb. What we were trying to say is that this exhibit is connected to a murder in Cairo. Wouldn't that be the concern of the authorities there? We're GPI. We concern ourselves with everything. A Janan Tafik was found dead in the Valley of the Kings. Our eyewitnesses say that there was no one in that area but your dig team. You should be talking to them. We would, but they're dead too. Found just an hour ago in an apartment in Montmartre. Note at the scene said it was a ritual suicide. Hobbies are better with friends, no? Do get yourself some drinks, detectives. And be sure to explore the crypt. Just be wary of any mummy's curses. How can someone be so nonchalant about being a person of interest? Mr. Noir knows more than he lets on. Do you suspect him, Mr. Blank? Let's just say I wouldn't toss him a nickel if he opened a bank. So you suspect yeah, him? Yeah, I, I suspect him. Excuse me, madam. I need to see your invitation, please. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I don't have an invitation. Well, then this part of the Louvre is closed for a private event. Au revoir. I wasn't aware that this was a private event. Uh, oui, it is. Au revoir. Au revoir. Indeed. <laughs> Why do you keep talking like that? Tisk tisk. You should have eaten far less crepes, monsieur. I'll look like a fool in your clothes. Hm. This is Aida. We are all in position for phase two. Excellent. Paris shall not soon forget the name of Aida San Antonio. <laughs> Is 
at that table over there? No, I said nothing brown. Is it that wooden engraving? That's brown. It's not that man's pants, is it? Stop! You're only naming brown things! Did you hear something? The mummies! They're emerging from the tomb! Please, everyone, remain calm. There must be a logical explanation for this. That mummy has a machine gun! Everyone duck! Find cover! Mr. Blank, get behind the table! If I die, I'm gonna take a few of these Egyptian zombies with me. Huh. Thought I put more bullets in this. Oh my god, just get behind the table! Look, Johnny, the mummies are making an escape. We better catch up with them. What are you kidding? All we've got between us is an empty pistol and a tray of hors d'oeuvres. Right. Take that, you milksops! Please, don't throw the gun at them, too. What is going on in there? The mummies are alive! Repeat, the mummies have come to life! Ah, there goes phase two. And I spent 20 minutes getting into this stupid guard's clothes. Did you stuff a pillow into that shirt? Ignore my shirt. We are going to plan B. Call the helicopters. We're going for a direct assault. Are they gone? Nobody seems to be getting shot anymore, do they? My god. We have played in things beyond our ken. And now the Louvre shall suffer for it. Well, that's what happens when you play god with Egyptian gods. We are now subject to the curse of Smenkare. I doubt it, unless Smenkare was buried with 20th century machine guns. No, she was not. But that was what my dig team was supplied with in case of any obstacles. Don't worry, Mr. Noir. Johnny and I are on the case. We won't rest until this mystery of the machine-gunning mummies has been solved. You will do no such thing! My job is on the line as it is, and I do not need GPI detectives swarming around my museum, breaking my precious antiquities. So he's suspect number one. I've never seen anyone guiltier. So, we've got a mystery on our hands. What do we need to do now? Look for clues! Who are you talking to? It's this kid. I... I hear this voice sometimes, and sometimes it tells me to do things. Open the floodgates, Howard. Open the floodgates, and the memories will come back. Stupid mummies, ruining my plans, ruining everything. Now I have to spoil the helicopters. Johnny, it's not nearly as creepy as it sounds. Adults can have imaginary friends, Holy too. crap, Mr. Blank, I eat a San Antonio. Howard Blank and his wretched little sidekick. Partner. You should have knocked. I might not have been decent. <laughs> a lady like you is never decent. I missed our witty repartee. Gumshoe. Not as much as I missed your stupid poo-poo face. You're out of luck, San Antonio. Mr. Blank's got six bullets with your name on him. No, I don't. I shot them at the mummies. Yeah, but she didn't know that. Some other time. <laughs> Goodbye, gumshoes. And send me those bullets. They would make a lovely necklace. <laughs> we fight evil every day, Johnny. And somehow they're still cooler than us. <sighs> Yeah. Miss San Antonio, does this mean we're not assaulting the Louvre? This changes nothing. Double back, circle around, and then we'll meet at the rendezvous point. As long as we keep those two gumshoes off our backs, there's a chance we can succeed. Did we really have to break into Mr. Noir's office? Sometimes you have to break a few eggs to make lemonade, Johnny. But did you really have to break down the door? I have lock picks. My shoulder had an ache for justice, and the only cure was smashing down an evildoer's door. Alleged evildoer. Alleged evildoer. That's weird. This is a photo of the dig team in Cairo, but none of them match the corpses we found in the apartment. Maybe it's another dig. It could be. But this photo says it was taken two months ago and the background looks just like pictures we have of the original site. Look, Johnny, a trash can. One can only guess what it could contain. Trash? First rule of detective work, Johnny. The best evidence is always what the criminal throws away. 
All right, we have a banana peel, coffee grounds, a, a crumbled candy wrapper. Ooh, that'll put him away. Aha! Torn strips of paper. Fortunately, that dastardly Mr. Noir tore them in long strips. We may still assemble them. Quickly, Johnny, the tape! My God, this is a glimpse into the secrets of Lucien Noir. This may be the evidence we can use to solve his crime. Alleged. Alleged crime! We hold in our hands the most important piece of evidence we've ever seen in our whole careers. Read it, Johnny. Read it! <clears throat> This is an invoice regarding payment for services rendered to the recipient company all therewith. Maybe there's a matchbook or something. What was that? It was coming from over there. That janitor's closet from across the hall. Look, Mr. Blank, at the floor! Yes, Johnny, they sure buff them well. No, gauze! I think it's pronounced wax, Johnny. No, there's gauze on the floor! Leading up to this closet. Stand back, Johnny, I'm about to break this door open like an October turkey on Christmas Day. Wait! The door's unlocked. Don't worry, GPI is here to help- uh, Oh my god, why are you all naked? Um, the mummies stole our clothes? <laughs> mummies stole their clothes, sure. And I guess I was born in that janitor's closet an hour ago, too. Wait, didn't they look familiar? Trust me, Johnny, I may experiment a little, but never with that many. No, the picture of the other dig team, see? I don't see it. Look at their faces this time. Oh, 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 oh. We've reached the rendezvous point, ma'am. Good. Gather to me, my agents of Puke! Wait, our name is Puke? It stands for Professional Undercover Kleptomaniacs for Enterprise. But puke? Why not call it the Professional Organization for Kleptomaniacs of Enterprise? Because then we would be poke. And that would just be silly. Uh, whatever. We have a score of helicopters at our disposal. We number in the hundreds. The Louvre is as good as ours! So much for stealth. Lower the hooks. Get your shovels ready. Tonight, we steal the Louvre! Wait, did I hear that right? You want to steal the Louvre? Yes! You want to steal the entire museum? Yes, it will be the most heinous crime ever committed. But it's an entire building! That's... that's just physically impossible. Impossible?! I once stole the Statue of Liberty with only one helicopter and ten gallons of rocket fuel. I've seen a magician make the Statue of Liberty disappear without any of that. This is insane. No. This is puke. Give me that megaphone. Guys, she wants to steal the actual building. Like the entire museum. Not again! I thought she went to rehab for this! I'm supposed to be her sponsor! Yeah, we could just steal Nike or the Venus de Milo. But no, someone's got to be the master thief. Wait! Everyone, please! If we steal the Louvre, we get everything inside it as well! Yeah, until we drop it on the Eiffel Tower. Or the police shoot down our slow-moving helicopters Carrying hundreds of tons of metal! Wait! Where are you all going? I have so much planned! They'll have to follow cryptic clues to get their museum back. It will be an educational adventure for all of us! Get out of my helicopter. So the mummies are nowhere to be found? They must have turned to dust in the light of the full moon. If they really were mummies at all. If they really were mummies? Mummies don't just come back to life. Th there's something here and I just can't put my finger on it. And what exactly does that mean? I... I... I don't know yet. I'm glad the elusive and secretive GPI could come to tell me they don't know how to solve this mystery. This is a disaster, and you two have been no help at all. Now goodbye, while I clean up this mess. What a jerk. Forget it, Johnny. It was a weird case. 
What do mummies need clothes for anyway? Yeah. Wait. Oh my god, you're a genius, Mr. Blank. And I'm an idiot. I know it. Mr. Noir, could you come back here, please? I'm a very busy man, detective. Can you make it quick? Oh, sure. Just one more question. What is it? Those people in the closet? That was the second dig team, wasn't it? What are you talking about? Correction, it was actually the first dig team. Of course! Those mummies weren't mummies, they were the people in the closet! That's why we found all that gauze everywhere. But how did they get in the tomb in the first place? Simple. Just look at this invoice. But it's boring. Yes, until you get to this date. This is dated two months before the dig. He paid another dig team, the dig team from the photograph, to go to the site, get everything of value, ship it to him, then disguise themselves as mummies and wait to be brought back to Paris. Janan Tafik must have found them while they were hiding in the tomb. But if the dig team is the mummies, then where are the actual mummies? Maybe that's a good question for... Hey, where'd he go? He must have run off while we were summarizing the case. This happens every time! Stupid agents of puke. Have to steal the Mona Lisa again. Stupid helicopters. It's Aida San Antonio, again! No! I'm not leaving here empty-handed! You'll never catch me! Johnny, you go after Noir. I'll take San Antonio. Got it. Come on, San Antonio. Stop running so fast. <laughs> I thought part of the fun was the chase. I'm a smoker! <coughs> My lungs can only take so much. Ha, those things will kill you, Gumshoe. And what about you? Uh, will you kill me? <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl. You'd have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> now, stay down. Ah! Nothing is going right today! I caught you fair and square. Don't turn on the waterworks now. I just thought that this would turn out different. It was the heist of the century. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever done. And it all failed, because my henchmen weren't loyal enough to see the big picture. Can't always blame the employees when a business fails. Often it's the fault of the management. Howard, do you think I'm a failure? Yes. The tomb exhibit, really? Seems you've got a thing for hiding among the dead. <laughs> You're one to talk, detective. You will soon be joining them. I've already radioed for backup. I've got hundreds of GPI detectives on their way here. All I have to do is kill you and sneak away. You're at a loss, detective. I know this place like I know my own home. Then let me do some redecorating! Stop! Putting this exhibit together took me weeks! Then you should have expected more from GPI than to scare us off with fake stories like mummies and ghosts. Do turn around, detective. I want to see the look on your face when you die. Nothing can save you now. It is I, the spirit of Schminkare. Finally, I am freed from the jar that has trapped me for thousands of years. What? You... Me? How dare you say that I am Nefertiti? I could never align myself with that total hag. For that you will pay the ultimate price. What? Oh no! My f my face! It's melting! Oh my god! Somebody help me! Johnny, what is going on in here? Don't look, Mr. Blank. Keep your eyes shut! Okay. One ultimate price paid. Can either of you now tell me where to get a good cup of wine? I've been imprisoned for thousands of years. I need to get wasted. Oh yeah, yeah, be dumbfounded. I'm so unusual to look at. Compared to the giant smoking fatso in the hat and the freaking dinosaur? Whatever, I'm out. No prison can hold me, Blank. I'll be back. And this time, it'll be your house I'm stealing. <laughs> Just make sure you use the downstairs bath. I need to clean the upstairs one. So it seems like the first dig team actually failed. When they got to the tomb, they ended up sealing themselves inside. Ah, and when the second dig team showed up, 
They had to hide inside the sarcophagi in order to not be discovered. But Lucian wanted no loose ends, so he killed them all anyway. So, uh, what happened to the mummies? Oh yeah, that. The other dig team ate them. I guess the mum was the word. Ugh, I need a new partner. <laughs> this has been Codename Blank, Episode 1, Fingence from the Mummy's Tomb. Starring in alphabetical order, Ty Anderson, Abraham Ayala, Bonnie Bogovich, Rachel Boyd, Brandon Greer, Josh Lake, Mai Lee, Jeff Novaez. Edited by Rachel Boyd. Written and directed by Brandon Greer. This episode is the intellectual property of the Cryptic 27 Studios. All elements of this episode are copyrighted 2019. Howard and Johnny will return in Russia Needs Women. I heard about a Soviet that wanted to go speed dating. I guess he was really Russian. <laughs>